Hey guys, Pete here. I was rereading one of the sample Winds of Winter chapters, which I don't really want to go into, but something happened that reminded me of a theory that is related to the Stark family and their direwolves. This video will lay out the theory and contain spoilers and speculation related to everything that's happened through Season 6. Also, I'm starting a giveaway for subscribers, so make sure you watch until the end to learn more about that. Each of Ned Stark's children have a direwolf that they've raised from the time they were pups. If you don't remember how they came into possession of them, it happened in the first first episode of season one in the show and in the very first point of view chapter in the first book. The scene in the show is pretty much the same so let's give it a watch and take a trip down memory lane. It's a freak. It's a dire wolf. So full of beast. There are no direwolves south of the wall. Now there are five. You want to hold it? Where will they go? Their mother's dead. They don't belong down here. Better a quick death. They won't last without their mother. Right. Give it here. No! Put away your blade. I take orders from your father, not you. Please, father. I'm sorry, Bran. Lord Stark, there are five pups, one for each of the Stark children. The direwolf is a sigil of your house. They were meant to have them. You'll train them yourselves, you'll feed them yourselves, and if they die, you'll bury them yourselves. You. I'm not a Stark. Get on. Well, what is it? A run to the litter. That one's yours, Snow. We learn that direwolves don't belong south of the wall, and that they haven't been seen there for 200 years. No one offers any ideas on how a direwolf might make its way through the wall, so that part remains a mystery. There is a lot of symbolism involved in the scene, though. In the show, we see a dead stag, which is how the mother got killed in the first place. At first, they find five pups, which is the right number of trueborn children that the Starks have, and the final pup, who becomes John, is an oddball and the runt. The stag is the sigil um, of House Baratheon, and the dire wolf is on the Stark sigil. Their coming together led to their mutual demise, so you could say that this foreshadows Ned and Robert's fates at the end of this first season. So how did this lone pregnant dire wolf make its way south of the wall and happen to die by getting into a battle with the stag right in the path of the Starks who were all returning home after the execution of the man who deserted the Night's Watch? It could be just one of those things that happens, a coincidence that sets things in motion. Basically it happened because it had to happen, or there may have been another unseen force at play. Now keep in mind what is important here is that it did happen. The direwolves are an essential part of the story as they wake up the Stark children's telepathic abilities. In the books they have wolf dreams which is a whole nother video but if they hadn't come across these particular pups at this time it isn't clear if they would have learned about this connection. Another thing to keep in mind is that this is the very first scene that George R. R. Martin came up with that led him down the path of building this world. So the direwolves are not just cool, but they're very important to the overall story. So the theory goes it wasn't coincidence that they came across the pups. Instead it was the three-eyed raven or the three-eyed crow in the books who sent the mother direwolf south and basically pulled the strings for this entire encounter. Now I'm a big fan of the three-eyed raven in general, which we know is a character named Brendan Rivers in the books, and this makes me a little bit more likely to accept the theory, but let's look at the evidence because it's kind of interesting. Direwolves haven't been 
been seen south of the wall for 200 years. At this point, they are basically mythical creatures, as no living man from the, you know, below the wall would have ever seen one. Even though in the books and show, we've been all over the place, including done a, a, a good amount of traveling north of the wall, we don't have any other direwolf sightings of note. As the Stark children travel around with their wolves, people seem to recognize what they are, but no one we've met seems to be familiar with seeing direwolves on a regular basis in the wild. So it could certainly be a coincidence or an example of fate, but the odds of it happening naturally are pretty astronomical. Why would the three-eyed raven be involved? Well, he says in a dream that he has been watching Bran since he was born. Bran's gifts are super rare, and through dreams, Blood Raven guides him to travel beyond the wall. Sending the wolves would introduce Bran to his warging abilities and also offer some protection on his journey. There are several examples of the wolves' loyalty to the children, and in Bran's case, his direwolf Summer saved his life when a would-be assassin tried to kill him. This was back whenever he was in a coma after falling from the tower. I think the reasons why the Three-Eyed Raven would want to send the wolves are pretty clear, so the real question is, is he able to do something like this? As most things involving magic, prophecy, and religion in the Song of Ice and Fire, it's definitely up for debate. But more importantly, it's written in such a way that will lead to a debate. We have quite a few instances that we could say Blood Raven intervened in situations while skin changing into ravens. The classic example is when John brings the fallen brothers of the Night's Watch back to Castle Black and they end up turning into whites. As they advance on Gior and John, they seem immune to all manner of attack. In the books, Mormont's Raven actually helps out by calling the word burn, and he seems to do this on his own initiative. John grabs a curtain he caught on fire and is able to defeat the white by burning it. So if you believe that the Blood Raven intervened here, which a lot of people do, it isn't that much of a stretch that he might have sent the Dire Wolf south to be found by the Starks. In conclusion, I think there's a good chance that the Three-Eyed Raven was involved, but I don't think we will ever know for sure. There's no indisputable evidence, so it's just a fun theory to think about. I said I was a fan of Blood Raven, but I'm not the like on the extreme end of the spectrum in the camp that thinks like Blood Raven's behind the scenes controlling everything. Um, I think he has a pretty definite plan and that's to train train Bran and I think that you know sending the dire wolf south does actually fit into that plan. So what do you guys think? Did the Starks find the pups purely by accident or are there other forces at play? Let me know what you think in the comments or just tell me which dire wolf is your favorite. Do you think we will see Nymeria and Arya reunion before the end of the series? Before I go I'm excited to say that we're coming up on 13,000 subscribers which is awesome. And to celebrate, I decided to start a giveaway that'll work like this. When my channel reaches 18,000 subscribers, I'll pick one of you guys at random and send you this copy of The Knight of the Seven Kingdoms, which I just picked up. It's a collection of the first three Dunkin' Egg stories they put together with added illustrations. And it's a really great volume, and especially if you haven't read them yet. All you have to do to enter is be a subscriber and leave a comment on the video. Please like this video if you enjoyed it, and don't forget to let me know what you think about the theory. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you soon.